Hello, and welcome to the show. All we are here today on GTA 5 for some more racing. Uh, we've got some new vehicles slash some vehicles that we've not been able to drive before. Nice hit from Brazen and Gliska and from Ewan. Uh, for some reason, well, I say for some reason, we have a ramp here to mess about with for the vehicles off the start line, because why not? Uh, <laughs> pretty much Nado's exploded and Longbow's exploded. Um... Oh, and Igliska's exploded as well. Have we got some, I think we've got some vehicles going, uh, starting already. I feel like there might be some cheeky starting cheesiness has occurred. Yep, yeah, we're off. Bumpy went to go for a jump and realised the race. That is the biggest jump start we've had in a long time. I'm not sure who it was. Might have been Stevie. I think Stevie has been punished uh, by everybody. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Yes, the Night Shark, it's been in the game for a while, but only in the last update was it actually usable. So, or usable for racing. So that's what we have got uh, to go to go racing with. We'll be outside of three wide here. That's going to go badly wrong. Oh, Amy's managed to spin. Oh, Team Orange has put me around. Oh, Team Orange has put me around. <laughs> Stevie's done the same thing. At least they can, like, be bopped back into line again. Uh, these things seem... They, they seem to be fairly grippy, but the back end's just let go randomly uh, at times. Of course, these curves, there's a few cars now we've seen. If it goes wrong, they just snap into massive amounts of oversteer. Uh, I mean, some, you know, you get pushed, it's going to happen, but uh, they do seem to just have a habit of just snapping sideways. It might be curb-related. I should probably be careful a little bit with the old curb boosting. Oh, that's maybe a bit too big of a curb for uh, sneaking around with. Come on, get some slipstream. Oh, come on. Go. Oh, do not let Lano get past us. There we go. We got a draft, and we'll hold on to the position. Uh, not going to make any forward progress, but we don't lose a spot, at least. Let's head towards the hairpin. Oh. It's all getting a little bit uh, busy through that. Uh, oh, through that section. Okay, yeah, these cars are slightly funny on the kerbs. Got to be careful. And there is definitely speed to be found in the old kerb boosting. However, the car does not necessarily react. It reacts a bit unpredictably on these. Um, Liam is being brave across there. I wouldn't trust these vehicles going across the bigger kerbs. Don't trust it, really, across these small ones. Uh, it's like the wheel, like, catches and always digs in to the curb as Ewan finds out and Ewan goes round in front of thankfully not too many vehicles. I'm the only one really had a Ewan spinning and that was a fairly minor case of a Ewan spinning. Uh, Blake is going to go wide and lose momentum out there. We will oops, side past, move up into a fifth place. Let's get some draft off of these vehicles. Uh, not that we're going to have... Oh, we're going to go five wide into a hairpin. Uh, this is a long way around the outside. I'm not going to get momentum doing that. I think he'll go to the inside. We'll get not get as good a run off the corner. We get a good run through the middle. Liam is to the middle. Can these push? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Liam got away with it. Uh, I thought because they're like big, heavily armoured vehicles, they'd be fine with a little bit of a bump draft. Definitely not. Don't go for that. Uh, they will have a bad time. Uh, so yeah, we've learnt we've learnt what they can and can't do, and we've learnt it in a safeish manner. In that Liam didn't really lose too much from all of that. It could have been a million times worse. Oh, it's fine. We're going to help Blakey forward a little bit. We will lift off the throttle. I'll not, go, not gain a place for the punt into that one. Thankfully, it didn't end up in a spin. Uh, that was very risky over the curb from me. That's the sort of corner when you're like cornering with the wheel literally on the edge. That's the sort that's going to spin the vehicle, I think. Uh, you and being brave across the curves. Oh, don't have a, a sort of a hip check on you and uh, across the bump. Actually, I thought I was going to lose that much time over those. You do lose a little bit of time out over the uh, sort of track extending bumps. But uh, yeah, oh, there's a two wheeled, is that nine tails? I think it is on the inside. We get a great run off the hairpin here. We're too far back uh, to do anything. We're going to go to the outside turn one. We're going to try to sweep around the outside of Liam. Not quite. Uh, Liam's up onto two wheels. A little bit across there as well. Uh, aside from their occasional weirdness on curbs, these things are pretty good. I quite like these to drive. They're pretty good to race as well. They've got to be a little careful with contact, but it's not the worst thing we've ever driven. And all of this. Nine tails is through the middle. We're going to try and get some slipstream, which we do. And that'll put us back to the lead. If I can stop the car in time, we just about do. It's going to be uh, there's going to be a cutback from Nine Tails here. The red car's still there. Pega's right behind us. Uh, not quite going to find a way through in all of that. Nine Tails, I think, may have hit the curb on the inside and lost some momentum. It's fallen back, but it's still in that group. Still got a couple of laps to go. 
so there's still time for others to come join us. Oh, we're going to be side by side with Impega all the way through here. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's fine. This one gives a little bump, but uh, no harm done. Ninetales with a huge drive through the centre of everything. We are stuck in the centre of everything. Uh, it all gets a little bit busy. Ewan has snuck up the inside and got some places there. Uh, however, that wide line still gives us a good run on the exit, but that's not enough to get a victory on the final lap of the race if it comes down to it. We're going to have to be closer. You're not, it's not a big enough straight that the car in fourth or fifth is going to be able to slipstream everything and win it. Uh, you're going to have to be in a better position than that. We've been a little sneaky there. We left Danger Man with little room, although they're fast off that corner. I guess maybe a little bit of curb boost uh, has done the job for them. And we get some draft off something. Oh, <laughs> there was a little bit of bump, a little bit of attempted bump draft. Oh, Danger Man got pinballed in the middle of that one. I think Danger Man may have got a knock from behind. I think there was maybe an attempt at bump draft or misjudged slipstream. Uh, Danger Man got bumped one way, pinged off me, pinged into Gliska, uh, and they have both come off worse. I mean, there's still a very big pack of cars there. I was expecting Ninetales to actually cover the inside there. I didn't think they'd give me the space that they actually did that one. Not going to be able to find a way through here. Uh, this just not quite enough space. Unfortunately, we're a little too close. We're not really going to get much slipstream because we're so close. We're still going to run down the inside into the final corner. We'll park on the apex. Uh, is, would this be enough to win a race to the line? Yeah, possibly. Be close, but you might do it. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we are going to go... Oh, I was expecting the pink car to go to the inside, seeing as Ewan had the momentum to go around the outside. Maybe they just wanted to sit and follow in line uh, through this first section. Possible. Sometimes you just want to sit and bide your time a little bit. Uh, you might not want to try and make it three wide into a corner. Uh, it's sometimes a little risky going for that for that move. This is a really big group of cars all coming together. <laughs> it's going to be... Uh, uh, Interesting. It's going to be an interesting final lap, I can say. It's that hairpin. The final corner hairpin is going to be complete mayhem because you really don't get much time to uh, run to the line. Oh, we're going to try and see. Can't believe I've got away. I'm normally one of the worst for getting unlucky and being too aggressive over some curbs, but I've got away with it so far uh, and not have the spins or half spins that some of the other cars have got. Liam's got a little bit of a lead as we're all busy fighting over second place. That's not going to last. There's going to be a big slipstream train going down here uh, that will bring us all forward. Although we're three wide, so no slipstream can really get past us. Uh, and Peg is on that wide line. I mean, if this was a final lap of the race, Liam would win. Uh, just because no one's close enough. Ewan's giving us a bump draft towards Liam. And Pega's got some curb. I can't do any curb boosting. Because, well, we're stuck in the middle of a three wide. It's now three and four wide. It's too many vehicles. Although it's all sticking just about all right. This is the final lap of the race. Uh, so we're going to have to try and get a little bit of sneaky curb boosting. Uh, we don't, don't need it anymore. We've got proper slipstream now off the back of Impega. Impega's slipstreaming past Liam. Uh, we're trying. We're going to go to the outside of Impega up here. If, it, if we can stay around the outside here with the inside for the next bit, but then Impega's on the inside through here. We're still desperately trying. I mean, it's, if we bubble the curb, we might get speed off the corner, but the white car's going to still stick alongside <laughs> half a lap so far. We've been side by side with Impega here. Pega will run the curb there and get some speed. Amy's having a look, but no real space. Can we get a good run down here? We can, but we can't get out of the slipstream in time. Ewan and Danger Man have got the bigger runs, although now it's in Pega's turn to kind of get a little bit... Of, oh, and Ewan's gone. Ewan's gone in front of the pack, and that will give Danger Man a victory here, I would think, because no one's going to be close enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was always going to be difficult to do much on that run to the line, but... Ewan was the unlucky one that got uh, stuck in the middle of that, turned in front of the pack, and no one could get any acceleration out of that corner in the end. Wonderful race. That was very good fun. Those are actually really good to go race. And normally, armoured cars are not the racing vehicles of choice, but those were pretty damn good fun to, uh, to race with. Well, Danger Man takes the victory in this one. Fastest lap would go to a Brazen in all that. I mean, it was bloody close for <laughs> just about everybody, really. For our second race, we have got the Comet S2. This is the well, S2 Cabri Cabriolet. It's the new 911, basically, is what we've got to go racing with. A more sensible race vehicle than the old uh, armoured cars. Probably means won't be as good to go racing with, knowing 
how Fail Race normally operates, but there we go. We will <laughs> we will see what happens with this one as we throw the car into the first. Oh, okay, it's a bit more oversteering than the Night Shark. Christ, that was sliding before we got a bump. Oh, no, oh, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> At some point, we'll hopefully get straightened out, pinballing our way around this this time. Uh, we'll get a good slipstream up the hill, hopefully. We'll follow Danger Man and see what we can do. See, nothing too crazy down here. Okay, these are quicker than the Night Shark, but they're kind of not... Gri they're not... Uh, I don't know. They don't really feel grippy. Night Shark felt a lot more secure, I feel, is the best way to describe in the handling department. Like, this feels like it might snap sideways. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> even more than the Night Shark would. I feel like I have more confidence throwing the armoured car around than a sports car. That shouldn't work, but this is GTA, so, you know, sometimes stuff like that does happen. Come on, where's the slipstream? Stevie's coming with us. Stevie's going to go to the outside and shoot past. However, not going to carry the speed on the exit. That is where we will come in with a good run. And indeed we do. We're trying to get... All three of us are trying to get slippery off Gliska. This is... Oh, dear. That, <laughs> Stevie is a lucky pug. <laughs> Admittedly, all three of us were being a little bit cheeky on that one. Oh, Stevie did end up going around in the end. But so basically, the way GTA Slipstream works is you don't have to be perfectly behind somebody to get a draft. You can kind of be a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and you'll still get a tow. Now, we were trying to get three cars towing off of one, and that doesn't really work, because everyone wants to be a bit too close to the middle. Uh, Stevie got turned and bounced off me. Must have sort of spun back the other way. I didn't see that, because, of course, we've got to be doing the race and everything. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, it was always likely to be trouble uh, going for... Going for throw three car, three cars towing off of one. Oh, there's gonna be a gap there. Don't put Brazen out over the bumps. But the problem is, is that you take it to slightly tighter line there. We lose a little bit of momentum. And now we're a smidge further back. We're not within oh, slipstream range. Nine tails is there. Okay, we'll be side by side with Blakey barreling down towards the last corner. Come on, get some speed on the exit. Gliska had a huge wobble, and we'll oh god. Did not want to cut. I wanted to get towards Brazen for the slipstream. Did not want to cut the nose off Gliska's car quite that much. We survive it though. Uh, we will pass a Brazen for the lead of the race. Get it slowed through here. Yeah, the trick with this, just don't excite the back of the car. You start sliding and lose so much time. Uh, we'll go over here for a little bit of curb boosting. We've got no one slipstream behind us, so we're safe to uh, do that a smidge. There goes green car. Busy through there. I will have to bide my time, I think. <laughs> Chris is a little out of shape. It's again, yeah, we'll get back into shape. Oh, slides from all of us as they're pushing the cars through there. I mean, we had a little bit of a scrap, scrappy start in this one, but the group is reforming again. Uh, of course, we race with slipstream and catch up on so that if you do have a bad start, you can be involved later on. Blakey with a big oversteer. I just bailed out of that one. I, if I hadn't done that, I think we were kind of either going to stop in the middle of the circuit or end up in the side of the accident. So I think that was the better the better option right there. What are these like in terms of a slipstream run to the line? Yeah, possible. It might work, but you'll have to be a little closer than I was there. Uh, it's going to be... Yeah, because it's such a short run to that, to that finish line, you are going to have to be close. But if you're too close, you won't get enough slipstream. You won't, there's a perfect distance in that to be behind the car ahead to slipstream because if you're too close the slipstream is not powerful enough if you're too far back you won't have time to do it um, we will see what happens when it comes to the final lap of the race longbow runs wide brazen sliding I mean, we've seen that a lot from cars it's been catching me out a few times as well uh, I mean, it, it's not my favorite driving car this one it's not bad it's just not, well, it's not completely terrible uh, it is a bit too oversteery for my personal liking, but it's more oversteery over the bumps. That's and that is because we're abusing the curves. Uh oh, uh oh, I can't steer. <laughs> Danger man, just turning a little too soon, and I can't. Once that's hit that corner, my car's just not steering anymore. Um, yeah, that's a problem. Might not quite be race over. We're only at halfway, halfway mark. So I think we can catch back up to the pack. It not that's not an intentional takeout that one. That is a case of we're going side by side into a chicane. Danger Man turns in just a fraction before I do and clips the rear corner. And the problem is, once you've hit that rear corner, I can't steer anymore. I'm trying to steer the way the corner's going. That, because of the hit, the back end of my car is twisting and it's trying to point the opposite to the way that I'm steering. 
Uh, basically, it's a crash I can't avoid at that point, and yeah, we were going too quick to be able to do anything to to get out of it. Oh, that's a lot of speed up there. That's way more speed than I realised. Uh, would be a little bit liberal with the old uh, <laughs> track interpretation. Someone's got a big lead. Who's, got, who's made a breakaway? Brazen's ran away in this one. Uh, Nine Tails is to the inside. Uh, we can't have a ma like that's uh, like a three second lead at the moment. It won't last forever. This is probably not the biggest track for catch up. Uh, in, so the catch up reduces the power of, of the cars, uh, which is all very well and good. It's most effective on fast circuits, lots of long straights. That's where the power differences are most noticeable. Tracks like this, it's I mean there is still going to be a noticeable difference down the straights, but the more straights, the more noticeable the catch up is. Uh, slipstream, of course, is always powerful, but you have to be close to the car ahead to be using it. And also, what's helping Brazen is you and Longbow are fighting. Now, if me and Ninetales are clever, and play this one right, uh, if we just stay in the slipstream, which we will, awesome stuff. Uh, oh, oh, we got all out of shape going over that crest. We will hopefully catch up to them. No, oh, that was not a clever move by me. Well... If I'd got the move, if I got the pass done, it would have been fine, but uh, we carried a, a little too late on the brakes, carried a bit too much speed in the corner in the end, which just cost both me and Ninetales some time. Uh, yeah, I was hoping we would get past cleanly, and then we could swap slipstream duties and catch up to the battle for second. Ninetales is going to run wide, big bunny hop for that Porsche. I'm going to be in trouble here, just try and don't oversteer the car. Uh, basically just abort any sort of steering at that point, uh, because I needed to keep the back end in check it likes to move around a lot. That is neat and tidy through the final corner. Lovely stuff. Okay, and now we're in the fight uh, for second place. Unfortunately for me, I say unfortunately for me, unfortunately for all of us, Brazen's still quite a long way out in front. We might... Uh, are we going to fall into the same trap that Longbow and Ewan were having of just fighting massively over this second place and letting Brazen get away? It's not really made much ground. Oh, Angel Man is here with us. Uh, let's get some slipstream off of the back of you and oh dear we did not quite gain as much ground as i was hoping there and when we did gain it, it was a bit of an awkward place <laughs> we're around the outside i'm giving some space just to make sure in case you doesn't know quite where i am uh, we will bobble that curb we're struggling we're really struggling to catch brazen at this point i mean we might be catching a little bit but it's not enough here longbow is out wide oh longbow's in trouble there that's going to be on a really awkward line. Oh, dear. <laughs> and I could see that was going to be an awkward line. And all this has done is just given Brazen even more gap. And this huge fight over second will continue. Because, uh, well, they're now three wide on the exit of the final quarter. Yeah, Brazen, the gap is just not changing. It's a five-second gap to, uh, <laughs> to Brazen because we're just fighting over second. Oh, Longbow's had a go at turn one. No, oh, dear. <laughs> Go, Porsche! Try not to be in the middle of the road! Ugh. That was not a place we wanted to have a, just a slice of tags. As a little bit of a, that corner, the turn one is quick in these cars. And uh, Longbow with a lot of slipstream just didn't quite get it slowed in time, unfortunately. Just how it goes. Um, occasionally, we're running a lot of speed through here. I'm not sure if the back end's actually going to stick to the road through all of that. Uh, it did, just. It was a bit of a struggle, though. I'm not going to. Be. We're certainly not going to be on the podium in this one. Brazen has had a actually quite straightforward. I say straightforward race. I mean, you got to get through it, make no mistakes, uh, no bouncing off curbs, no spinning the car. Uh, I'm going to be as aggressive as Liam is through there. It's desperately just trying to make up any time we can here. We've got a great amount of speed down towards this final corner. Uh, Liam is. Oh, we're going to try to go underneath everybody. Oh, I think there may have been a little bit of desinky hit with Liam. I. <laughs> There was no contact from, as far as I'm aware, on my screen. The controller didn't vibrate to say there was any contact, but that car looked like it got punted. Um, I mean, I can't <laughs> there's uh, nothing I can do if we've got some desinky contact going on, or laggy contact going on. Um, unfortunate. It's unfortunate for Liam. Uh, I do apologise if that was the case on, on their screen, because, yeah, this is as far as I was aware, we were clear. But bloody hell, Bra Brazen just, we just couldn't catch, and we fought each other too much for second um, to be able to catch. It was a good race. It was a good race. A little bit, went a little bit wrong for me at the end there, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was a fun race. Although, I will say, the Night Shark is a better race car than the sports cars. Yes, the armoured 
Armoured car is the one I would prefer to race, but there we go. That is going to be it for this for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and thank you to Ewan for building this wonderful circuit. It's a good fun track, uh, this one for sure. Shall be it from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.